This incident highlighted the risks that come with a monoculture software regime, or essentially when we're too reliant on specific products or specific um, companies like Microsoft, um, and that when we have a monoculture or don't have a diversity in our IT infrastructure, uh, we then have a system that's susceptible to a singular, single source of failure. So essentially this single bug in a CrowdStrike um, update was be able to cause um, damage across the globe. This was fortunately not a malicious actor attempt, uh, and this should serve as a reminder um, that this very well could have been, um, and because our society continues to be more interconnected um, and more digitized, we need to think of security from the onset of every decision. Security cannot be uh, an afterthought, um, and that goes in terms of of, of who you employ in terms of ensuring that systems are diversified in terms of knowing what software is in all your products. Um, and also, I think a big part of that is also um, shifting burden outside of the consumer to um, software providers in more generally. While this bug was most likely the result of a lack of testing and would have been uh, more easily mitigated with fail-safes and a phased rollout, CrowdStrike has been incredibly transparent and has been working uh, nonstop to try to help impacted customers in terms of providing um, different fixes, providing videos in terms of how to manually fix it yourself. Um, with that all said, it will still take multiple weeks for all impacted systems to be operational again. Um, and I think we will be seeing organizational changes within CrowdStrike um, to make sure um, and minimize the chances of, of this occurring again. In the near term, while this was not a attack, um, did not stem from a malicious actor, we still need to remember that malicious actors take advantage of chaos and are actively doing that right now. So we need to make sure that people uh, maintain uh, trying to verify all information they receive and make sure that they're working with trusted partners. In terms of the long term, uh, cybersecurity software updates need to go through the same rigorous testing um, and expectations that um, other software updates go through. So in terms of testing, having phase rollouts, and taking the steps needed um, to make sure that uh, each, each change we make, um, if something goes wrong with it, we're taking the steps to minimize any damage.